Hi boys and girls, welcome to our numeracy lesson for this week. I am very excited to be teaching you. There are a few things that you'll need for this lesson, so make sure that you've got them with you. You will need paper, either the worksheet that was sent out, or if you weren't able to print that, you need either a blank piece of paper, a lined piece of paper, or a blocked piece of paper, whichever is readily available for you. It is okay whichever one you choose. Then you need a pencil. This is a normal lead pencil that you'll use to fill in your answers. You need a ruler. This is to rule straight lines on your piece of paper if you haven't printed your sheet out. And an eraser, in case you make any mistakes. Today we are going to revise addition. There are some things we have done before, and some might be a bit new to you. So focus, listen carefully. Before we get started, do these quick sums to get your brains thinking. I'm going to give you a few seconds to do them. Okay, let's have a look. What was your answer to 1 plus 7? Did you get it correct? If so, well done. 5 plus 3? 6 plus 4? 5 plus 1? 7 plus 5, and 8 plus 9. I'm sure you all got those correct. If you didn't, not to worry, just keep practicing. There are steps that we need to remember in order to complete the sums correctly. If you follow these steps, you won't go wrong. So make sure you remember these steps. Try and follow them all the time. Number one, we first need to add the units. Number two, we then add the tens. Number three, we then add the hundreds. Let's have a look at some examples. Here is our first example. 136 plus 122. Step number one, add the units. What is six plus two? Eight. Step number two, add the tens. What is three plus two? Five. And step number three, add the hundreds. What is one plus one? Two. You need to fill those numbers in the correct columns. So what is our answer? 258. Good. Let's move on to our next example. 183 plus 214. Step number one, add the units. What is three plus four? Seven. Step number two, add the tens. What is eight plus one? Nine. And step number three, add the hundreds. What is one plus two? Three. Good, so there is your answer, 397. But sometimes we have to carry. Be careful of these, you need to look out for them. If you do your maths correctly, you will see when you need to do these. Here is an example of that. 135 plus 127. Step number one, add the units. What is five plus seven? 12. We cannot put a 12 here. So what are we going to do? We put the 2 there. You keep the 2 by the units and you carry the 1. The 1 now becomes a 10. You carry it to your 10s column and we can carry on. Step number 2, add the 10s. You've got 1, remember the 1 that you carried. So you say 1 plus 3 is 4. And what is 4 plus 2? 6. And step number 3, add the 100s. What is 1 plus 1? 2. So what is our answer? 262. Use these examples to help you complete the worksheet. Pay special attention to the sum and see if you need to carry over. Remember, not all of the sums have carrying, just a few of them have. This is what the worksheet looks like. If you are not able to print the worksheet, it is okay. You just write your answers on your separate piece of paper that you have. 
a little hint for you all is that the top sums are all normal sums, not carrying. Look at the bottom sums. Your hint is that these are carrying. There is carrying in these sums. So make sure you carry very carefully. Your last sum is a bonus sum. See if you can do this. This is a very hard sum it's to get your brains thinking. So just try your best to see if you can do it. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time.